how to make your own resource packs without any additional tools. Hi and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. One of my favorite things about Minecraft is that you can use resource packs to change the game. It's a really easily built-in thing to the client that doesn't really require any coding or modding or anything. All you have to do is drop a file into Minecraft and then bam, the whole game looks completely different. Now, how do you make your own resource packs? You may think that you need some special program or some special knowledge, but everything is actually built into the files already given to you by Minecraft. So let's jump in and make your own template to start building your own resource pack. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is head on over to your launch options right here and find the version of Minecraft that you're going to want to be editing and go ahead and click on that version. So I'm gonna do this 1.11.2. And then you'll see this game directory right here, and it kind of has this long path to your .minecraft folder. There's an arrow just past the folder, and if you click that, it will actually open up the folder that uh, that directory is in. It's much easier to go there than it is to type app data, percent app data, and then go to the Minecraft, blah, 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 too difficult. This is much easier in the new launcher. Now you're gonna wanna go to versions and find the version again that you're gonna wanna be editing. This one is uh, 1.11.2. Go ahead and open that up and you'll see a JSON file and a jar file. This jar file, you're going to want to copy that. And then go make a, another folder for you to work in to create your pack. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here in the Minecraft.Minecraft .minecraft folder. And I'm only doing that just because we're kind of already here anyway. Uh, you could make this in the desktop or really anywhere that you want. So once you've made that, go ahead and paste that same file that you got before. It's gonna do it and then I have to refresh for it to show up. And then you're gonna need to use another type of program to extract this jar. And I like to use 7-Zip this seven zip right here. Uh, I like to use it because it can extract RARs, it can zip up RARs, it can do all sorts of stuff. And it's also adds some nice handy shortcuts right here in the menu, because all I have to do is do this extract to and in quotes, uh, it's going to name a folder already for me. So I don't have to do really anything. It's just a that's just a handy tip of uh, my favorite uh, zipping application. So we'll let it unzip here and it's finished. And so we have this 1.11.2 uh, area and all of this is what runs Minecraft in the jar, but we only need one folder and that is this assets folder. So I'm gonna do control A to select everything in this folder and then I'm going to unselect that file and then we can go ahead and delete all of this. Uh, now, inside of this assets folder, you have a Minecraft folder and you have all of these different things. Now, inside of here, you're gonna find a lot of uh, JSON files. So this, you might think, oh, models, block models, this is what I want. Well, these JSON files are what tells Minecraft how the outside structure of a block should be. A lot of these, uh, if you were to open this up, will just be um, just, end inside textures and it's a cube and that's all it is. It's just a block basically. Um, but you can change this. You've seen resource packs that might have uh, bark that has detail and block detail into it and things like that. Well, naming these JSON files and editing these JSON files is what does that. If you want to get to the actual textures, it's just this single file down here that says textures and then you have all of the blocks in here. You have some doors. Now, they're very small because of course, Minecraft is a very small uh, game. So uh, these are not very large. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, kind of funny, in fact, uh, just how uh, itty bitty they are. But let's, uh, let's find something that we can edit. Like, let's say this brick.png. Uh, let's go ahead and edit that so that we can uh, show that this is actually going to edit something. And it's itty bitty. Sorry, my uh, Photoshop is not quite um, sized correctly, but that doesn't matter. All we're going to do is add this sort of uh, sideways 
black line to it. And we'll be able to tell that this is changed. And add some red over here. Let's add a, a red little smiley face. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. Go ahead and save that and close out of Photoshop. And this brick texture should be updated. Uh, now, uh, now that we have edited our texture pack, there are a few steps that we need to take in order to make sure that this will actually show up in our game. First, we're gonna create a new text document. Don't rename it just yet, but you are going to edit this text document and you're going to add uh, a, just an itty bitty amount of code. Let me grab that code, it should be in the description below. And all it says is that this is a pack. This is pack format number three and the description of it. Now, this pack format number three is actually very important. If this is a pack that was that is going to be used in uh, 1.9 or before 1.9, so 1.8 or 7, uh, it's pack format number one. If it's going to be made for 1.10, it needs to be pack format two. And currently, for 1.11, it's pack format 3. If you're watching this video after 1.11, I would suggest checking the link in the description. It goes to the Minecraft wiki, which will explain any additional pack formats. Go ahead and save that and close that out. And we need to rename this. This is right now a TXT, and that is no good. So uh, once you rename it, make sure you actually grab the .txt at the back of the name and name this pack.mcmeta. MC stands for Minecraft and meta stands for metadata, I assume. And hit enter and Windows will tell you, are you sure you're going to change You're changing away from TXT? I'm not going to know what this file is. And you say yes. Uh, and it'll become a file that doesn't look really like anything. Next, uh, you can add a image that is a 128 pixel by 128 pixel uh, PNG file and I already have one made for this pack. So let me go ahead and add it, refresh, there it is. And it looks like that, it's that little OMG Craft logo. It's itty bitty down there. So now we have our assets, which we have changed around. And obviously if you were creating your own texture pack, you would uh, change a little bit more than I did. Now we have our pack.mc meta so that uh, the game can actually read that this is a texture pack. And we have an icon and those are the base things that you need in order to set up a pack. Now, in order to get this into a zip, grab these three files and using 7-zip, you can say add to archive. And then we can name this archive anything we want. I'm gonna name it my pack. Uh, you can name it anything you want. Hit enter and it's going to zip it up. And there it is. Uh, now, one thing that you wanna make sure is that if you open this zip, you are you're given the assets, the pack, and the pack icon right there in the first folder. Uh, something that you might want that you need to avoid is uh, I'm going to just go ahead and make a new folder here, and then place all of these things into the folder, and then refresh that, and then zip this folder up. Add to archive. We're going to name it my second pack, and. You have a zip here. Now, if you open this, you can see that it's inside of a folder. This is no good. You need, this is basically the root of the zip, is you need both all of these three things to be the first thing that you see when you open up the zip. If it's inside of a folder, it's not going to work. So now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, go back into my Minecraft uh, folder, and remember, if you're having trouble finding that, go over to your launcher, go to launch options, and click that little arrow, and it'll take you to the same place. Uh, and you're going to go find your resource packs folder. Already have a whole bunch of packs in here. We're going to go ahead and paste this in. And uh, there it is. My pack has been added. And let's go ahead and launch Minecraft. Now inside of Minecraft, you can go to your options, your resource packs, and you can see my pack.zip is here. Let's move this over and hit done. It's going to load up the texture pack. It doesn't take that much to load because... Uh, we've already, uh, you know, so not a lot has been changed. Uh, and we can go and find our block that we changed, which was these bricks. And in fact, it even changed it on the brick slabs. And you can see the slash that we created and the little happy face that we created. 
You can even see that on top of the brick slab. So we just created a resource pack, although it doesn't, it's not that exciting. I'll be, I'll be real honest with you. Not incredibly exciting of, uh, of a resource pack, but we did make our own and that is the steps. You have everything on your computer, except for maybe 7-Zip. Uh, you have everything on your computer right now to go ahead and make a resource pack of your own. Of course, the next step is to go crazy with customizing the textures, the block JSON files, all of that to really make this pack your own. I hope that this was a great first step for somebody to make a great resource pack. Getting started can be the hardest part of any creative endeavor. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe for future videos. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if you learned something new and make sure you comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this video. I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.